I love to fish a spinner bait. I'm gonna show you some of the, the blade combinations that I've started to use and really catch fish. At first, when I started fishing uh, spinner baits, I was really intimidated by a lot of the colored blades that are available out there. Uh, I've talked at length at seminars and, and, and some other on water stuff about the, the color combinations that I like to use. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how I fish them in, in uh, some of the habitat. And right now I'm, up, I'm on a bank that is, uh, is loaded with wood. This is kind of a, a, a spawn bank. We're here in the pre-spawn at, at the moment. So the fish that I'm gonna find here are not quite spawning, but they're moving in here, maybe getting ready to, to spawn. And spinnerbait's a great tool to catch them. Now, the water here is pretty clear. We've got hardly a cloud in the sky and I'm using white spinnerbait with white blades. It's a pretty bold presentation, but what I've found is using some of these bolder, louder presentations can really trigger strikes from some of the bigger fish. Um, so let's get up on these guys and, and, and fish along and see if, see if there's any uh, fish along them, but mainly I'm just look, I just wanna show you guys how I fish them. Um, and I'm gonna get up into the wood. Uh, a lot of times, you know, complicated piece of habitat like this, casting is actually uh, not the best approach. And I'll do a lot of flipping of my spinner bait and I'll, I'll dance it through the limbs. I'm trying to intersect those limbs, trying to get that deflection strike. I'm looking for uh, the branches that lay the furthest out on the wood here. And I can see that there's one right there that I just come across. Uh, but I wanna hit as many pieces as I can so don't be afraid to flip your spinner bait or your crank bait or any other kind of tool if the conditions warrant it. Now I'm way back in that tree now. So I'm using my rod a lot. I'm holding it in a high position. And I want to do that to be able to creep it and crawl it through the snag. Better chance of getting it back. Now I see an isolated piece of wood, so I'm, I'm definitely going to go and I'm going to sweep my rod to the left to try to hit that piece of wood. Anytime you're on a body of water and you see these isolated stick ups, you definitely want to key on them. It's an excellent piece of habitat. As I hear some critters running around up there on that mountain but I'm gonna to try to hit that. And I could see up in front of me, I've got, boy, I've got some really complicated blow down, some, uh, some really, really good habitat that could potentially hold a fish. But don't be a, oh, there's one right there, nice one. Come right off of that isolated piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> little pre-spawn bass, he's a little fat, this is probably a male, but where he came from is that piece of wood right there, um, nice little chunky northern bass, but uh, you know I threw out furthest, to the furthest piece of wood that I could see that was, and it was isolated, it separated from that blowdown that's up there on the bank, and he's biting on a white on white spinnerbait, love that. Love that color. Thank you, buddy. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.